Hey everybody, you're watching 2 Minute Tuesdays Road Bikes. Today's episode is about brain modes, focused, and diffuse modes. I learned a great lesson on how the mind works in a UCSD MOOC class called Learning How to Learn. They explain that the mind has been shown to have two distinct states of understanding and processing information. One state is the focus state, and the other is the diffuse state. Professor Barbara Oakley goes on to say that in the focus state, your brain is like a pinball machine with many pegs, and your thoughts are like a ball traveling down the machine. As it travels, it doesn't have to go very far before it bumps into a peg and alters its path. Moving on with this analogy, she explains that focused thought is good in giving us information and ideas that are familiar and well understood. But sometimes the solution to what you're looking for involves something that you don't know much about, and the neural pathway might be in another part of your brain. Let's imagine that the thought might be here, for example, in your brain slash pinball machine. Having focused thought would then prevent us from getting past preconceived thoughts and other states. The diffuse state would be better in reaching a solution. The diffuse state is more open, and the analogy would be a pinball machine with less pegs and more space. The ball can travel more freely and therefore access other parts of the brain more easily. Diffuse states of mind are practiced when you're not thinking intently on one specific thing. You might be going for a walk or practicing something routine and familiar. You could be getting ready for bed or brushing your teeth or even taking a shower. The practical things to take away from this are, have you ever had solutions come to you in the oddest times? Gotten ideas or solutions to come to you in the shower or in bed? This might help show the value of being in a diffuse state. Oakley went on to say, Edison and Dolly actually purposely put themselves in half sleep, half awake states to be able to access both mindsets and work out of a diffuse mindset into a focused one. If you're coding and you want to punch something in the face, you probably are overworking your focused mindset and probably could use a bit of time away from the computer or the text editor. Both mindsets are important to becoming an effective coder. Maybe think about how you can use this information for more effective coding experience. What do you think?